Guess what, guys? We're back with more Super Nintendo games straight out of the SNES Online services for the Nintendo Switch, only available for those that have a Nintendo Online service. Yay! 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 Oh. Shut that man up. All right. <laughs> so how about we start <laughs> off so- with the... So how about we start off with the uh, first import game to be released on the surface? In fact, I think this was literally an initial, like this was the initial one of the initial twenty games released for the surface. Oh yeah. Also, that's something I just noticed, like that act against AIDS thing. Like that's something I don't really see in a lot of games. It's yeah, it was primarily a thing that was only like heavily, uh, it was heavily advertised in like the two thousands. But uh, for those that might be familiar with this particular brand of video game, this is Puyo Puyo. Uh, the sequel, anyway, for the Super, for Super Famicom. Yep. Oh. Which, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to be showing off here is that uh, new, a big thing when this service was announced is that we were, we discovered, or not discovered, it was announced that not only would we be getting classic SNES titles here in the States, but we would also be getting a couple of some of the biggest features on the Famicom. Yeah, and I mean, unfortunately, with these being imports and whatnot, you can't read a lick of this shit unless you actually learn the, actually learn the language. So I'm just gonna see which one. I'm just gonna check and make sure that we got everything correct. I can look up like what I can look up like the menu. Oh, okay, th- okay, yeah, this should this should work. This should be two players. Okay, and these should be and this must be like your level of speed that you that they drop down. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go with two for now. And thus the battle begins. So yeah, uh, Puyo Puyo. For those that are not immediately familiar with it, stack four blobs against each other, and well, they disappear. Now the kicker with between the with the Puyo Puyo games is that well, while the, you can totally play the, the bare basic rules, the game really encourages you to play the combo game, as in try to stack a certain amount of um, blocks against each or blobs against each other, and then try to um. Whoa. Okay. There we go. And there you have it. Oh no! I should not have made this tower. Oops. There we go. Okay. Just yeah, no. It's one of the. This is pretty much the main, the main, you know, draw behind the series. And for better or worse, it's more or less something that you're either that you're either going to be a big fan of, or you're not going to care for in the slightest. And yes, I believe you're pronouncing it wrong. It's not Poyo Poyo. It's Mean Bean Machine. Poyo, you're also wrong. It's Kirby's Avalanche. And yes, for everybody who's noticing, I am, I am much more of a Tetris person. Oh wait, damn, I was one off. Hey, come on, you can get a Tetris. Oh, oh wait. it blocked my In one. In all fairness, man, I've always been more of a Tetris player myself. But I mean, I've always had some, you know, I've always had some respect for those that can actually get down with um, the, the rule set that makes up. Here we go. Oh, oh shit. Uh-huh. wait. Here we go. Oh. 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 We well, got a combo. Something, but uh, See, I'm. Like, what, do you, what do you make of all these cute little bits and blobs? Did you ever play any of these games? I have not. I played te- the original Tetris, but that's it. Well, if you were ever curious, uh, as you're seeing, the the they play pretty close to one another. Just oh, I needed. Uh, <clears throat> Logan, I hate to bring this up right now. Was it? But I still have my original. Well, not my original, but I have a NES at home uh-huh. with Tetris. So I can show you that. Ooh, nice. No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Just yeah, the the it more or less runs under the same principle as normal Tetris, uh, or the rule is that you know keep my blocks from reaching the top, and I can build combos to try and send more I uh, bully blocks. I where they're about to go boom. They're like, yeah. oh no, what has he done? <laughs> they, they dread their existence. What uh, I always wonder, like, what is the actual like lore of these Puyos, like, is it, because they, I know in, in Puyo Puyo Tetris, which we are getting a oh, sequel, seriously? I know in Puyo Puyo Tetris, like, the story is that it's like, they're all magic users, so these are like spells or something. Boop. I think that's oh, no. pretty much, I think that's essentially what they go for in this series. They're basically just like some, you know, manifestation of their power. Okay. Although Uh-oh. I could totally be bullshitting at, because I mean, I mean, if it's not really obvious, folks, aside from Puyo Puyo Tetris, I don't, re- I haven't really paid attention much to this game's overall lore. Yeah, like I think the most I've really seen in terms of the lore, and not even from the game itself, but someone's like reanimation of it, is there's this apparently one of the later games. There's like a story campaign for each character, and yes. I saw someone do like a reanimation of one of the characters' campaign, uh, the Blue Knight, who pretty much everything he says is an innuendo of sorts. Yeah, yeah, they, they had a lot of fun. Him. They never know when to. He never knows when to, you know, rethink his rethink rethink his own wording. 
He had a lot. They had a, I think. The, I think the. Uh, I bet the localization team had a lot of fun with that guy. Oh, I'm oh, sure. Nice. There we go. Damn. Oh, jeez. Oh god. <gasps> oh god. This might be a lot closer than you thought. It's getting quicker. Yeah, no, that's that's how fast a yeah, game can literally turn on a dime because, well, that, that, the combo game is literally your best friend here, and if you manage to use it to your advantage, the other player is practically smoked. So that's what you're seeing here, is that uh, it, it's almost... Uh-oh. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta find my opening and go for it. Uh-oh. If there's gonna be an opening left... There better be one. I put a lot of money I'll on this. I'll try my damnedest to do something and uh -oh. try to survive. Wait a minute, we were placing money on this? Yeah, you guys had to, uh, you guys had to get your bets in, like, tonight, oh god, oh no. Tonight! Put it oh, was no. dancing! Damn it, Put a... I didn't need a... Oh yeah, no, I'm done. Oh, wow. Wow. That was close, though. Good job, Logan. Dang oh, it. I was this person. Oh, you were, the, you, were the, you were the foo 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 kind of lady. The foo foo. Yeah. <laughs> On oh, that yeah, note, I think can. that's all we need to share about uh, share Puyo Puyo. So why don't we move on to our next game, uh, courtesy of Konami, uh, Poppin' Twinbee. Yeah, you might want to take your dinner somewhere else. I think the salt is real. No, no, dude, no, I was actually like, no, that was close, and yeah, I need to play, I need to get better at Puyo, but, like, whenever I play Puyo Puyo Tetris, I almost always just play Tetris. Yeah, I mean, again, that's like the one that we're all very good at. Well, here's one I know Seely will like. Twinbee. Because it stars a bunch of cute and colorful little droids named Twinbee and Winbee. That are piloted by two human human characters named Pas Pastel and um, or yeah, Pastel and Light, and um, well, they're the stars oh. of Pop and Twinbee. What does that say? Ah! <gasps> I couldn't read it all. Dang it! So oh. Pop and Twinbee is a game where it's basically a vertical shooter where you play as the play as those uh, funny little droids that were just running along the title screen, and um. Mm -hmm. Your goal is to literally shoot down a whole bunch of giant enemy giant enemy attackers that are in the form of that take the form of humanoid foods and whatnot. In fact, this story here can give us a little more deets on that. I was about to say, as we're watching this, and, and we can just talk over this, is like I noticed that this one, uh, unlike the other one, this one was localized to a degree, or that it had an English option for uh, the uh, oh. for its release. Unfortunately, it was only released in Europe, so us that live here in the states never was graced with this fun little game until this until the um app came out madoka no relation Mad so yeah please rescue my grandfather her grandfather unfortunately took a really bad bonk on the head and now he's suddenly become evil Ooh. so he became wily rat man essentially <laughs> wily ratigan <laughs> i guess so Basically, the protagonist of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs turned bad. Oh no, but don't worry. Those two will help. Don't worry, these two. Yeah, Light and Pastel again. They're the, uh, they're the, they're the two that pilot those uh, two robots we just saw. Although, for some reason in the European version, they outright just call them Twinby and Windy. Like, no, it's like no real difference between them and the robots. I mean, eh, naming conventions. Or maybe, or maybe it's like the robots, or maybe to them, the robots don't have names. Well, they're supposed to. Well, the robots are supposed to be named Twinbee and Windy, so that's kind of why it's so weird. So, it, yeah, yeah, we, we know exactly what Logan's doing. But what about you, James? It's his trademark. Snuffles. James with a whole bunch of op options. And I've learned this now. Don't hit end until you're both ready, because end ends for everyone. And okay, so we have to go. Oh, because we're going normal. All right. They have different option settings. It, it is it is very much like a whoops, put that out of the way. So whoa, okay, oh, I just, just like, you already let out your options. Nice going, Wendy. Crap, I did not know that's how that worked. Uh oh. Well, it's it basically what you just did was that you launched this little special attack where you just launch a whole bunch of mini use that splatter all across the. Uh, oh, hold on. While well, the balloons and or, excuse me, the bells in color, um, grab them and you'll get a certain perk like the uh, like this little option that's following me. Okay, but yeah, it, look, it, it very much also, plays... Also, you have, options, have access to bombs, which, well, I was using the wrong button for them, but uh, I believe if you press the Y button, that's how you launch your bombs. Right. It's basically, basically a much more cutified um, uh, Xevious. Z yeah, that's right. Xevious was the uh, the top-down Gradius. Look at all... Uh, I just imagine... I'm, I'm, I'm seeing all the walking pineapples, and SpongeBob's like, Look at all those trailer homes! Boy, the industry, boy, the industry is sure lively today. Oh gosh, I gotta be uh, careful. This is my mobile home. 
Oh, you need that heart. Oh, uh, health. So, other than that, I will say I've never played this game. Uh, hi, Celia, you guys ever done played any of these, like, shoot-em-up games? I remember no. seeing... I remember seeing the old look at that um, James and Becca did years ago, but it was of a completely different game. Aside from uh, that, I have no history with this. I do. I, I'm pretty sure I actually did play this game alongside her for at least one of the videos. Maybe that was the video in question. Again, it was a long, long time ago, and I mean, there's a lot of Twin B games I wouldn't mind covering somewhere down the road, but for now, Poppin' Twin B is like the most, the, easy, the most accessible at the moment because it did get a console launch. Mm-hmm. But that and, well, the SNES Online app does have online support, so <laughs> Logan and I can actually play together whether we need for Farsec or whatnot. And we uh, did see Twimby come back in a couple of other things, like Bomberman. Yeah. Uh, in quotes, because we technically we only... The only... I mean, you're probably... Are you referring to when he was playable in that one Bomberman fan game we did a while back? Not the fan game, but I, I could have sworn they made a, uh... For some reason I could have sworn they made... Yeah, because when they made a bomber in uh, Bomberman R, unless I'm thinking of... Oh, it was just Vic you're, Viper. You're, think, you're thinking of Vic Viper, though. Honestly, I'm surprised they never made a... They, I'm surprised they never made a uh, Bomberman based off of Twin B. Darn. Oh. Although, apparently, if, if what uh, if that Power Bomberman thing is anything to go by, freaking Pastel made a return via Bomber Girl. Oh, uh, that is confirmed to be... That is confirmed to be Pastel? I believe so. Uh, the pink-haired girl? Uh, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Careful. Seely, does this Seely, does this look too good, too cute for you? A little bit. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll get into something gritty later. It kind of makes me wish, but honestly, seeing this, it kind of almost makes me wish that uh, Kirby had a top-down game that wasn't just. Because uh, whenever I think of a top-down Kirby game like this, the only thing that comes to mind is that dang. Uh, there it is. Uh, all I can think of is that uh, that that one uh, puzzle platformer-ish game where he was always riding the star and you had to jet around on the platforms. That de I could have sworn that there was a section in the Kirby game that basically acted oh, kind of like Twimby's doing yeah. here. Um, I know Kirby, like, no Kirby Mass Attack had a sub game where it was literally a vertical shooter, and all you really had to do was just aim him with the stylus. And then there was um, oh, oh. come on, turn color. Was Mass? Uh, I don't, I don't know if we ever talked about, it, but I guess I can ask just for conversation's sake. Was Mass Attack ever any good? Oh, Master Tech is good. I'd argue it's a little, it's a little bloated at spots, but I, I it is a very, fun, it is an interesting little um, subgenre for Kirby. Oh, we have to save that ship. Madoka's in that ship. We should save her. At least that's, always, that's what I always assumed. I could have seen that. I could see that. I don't know if this game has like cutscenes or if it's just the story at the very beginning and at the very end. Um, there are key, there are little intermissions in between the stages, which I mean, I would say do at least a decent enough I to give out a decent enough idea of what's going on. And chestnut pirates, they kind of look can't. like waddle dees. And I can't. They do. And I can't. And I you can't. You say waddle dees? Like the first thing that comes to my mind is like they look like those little egg shaped toys from like Fisher Price or something. Those two. I can see that. Or oh, kind of yeah, roast. Go ahead. Now blow up the captain. Roast him. Yeah, that, that especially when he's doing his little foot dance there kind of makes him look like a Waldy with a captain hat. Oh Eat no, I'm going this. down! I can continue. And now. down goes the ship. And the nuts with them. <laughs> Stop shooting though, you, know, you can grab them now. I want all the goodies. Like speed ups and, and that, there we go. We save the day, and the hero gets the girl. Aww. Aww. Mm -hmm. like, what about I'm kind of curious because yeah, I was about to say like, do, does the same thing happen if Winby is the one that won that round? Uh, uh, no. Like all the uh, all the little uh, intermissions are set, so oh, okay. you'll always okay. see you'll always see like getting the kiss from the Madoka, or you'll see Pastel in one a later one or whatnot. Anyway, mm -hmm. moving on from shooting stuff, why don't we move on to whacking stuff with a racket? That's a very violent way of describing a uh, calm family sport where people shriek like banshees when they hit the when they hit the ball. <laughs> so Smash Tennis is kind of an odd duck. In fact, I'll just be honest. I've I barely played this one myself, but it was released on the on Super Nintendo in uh, Europe, and it's literally just tennis that you smash. With a lot of freaking mobile options. Uh oh. Choose what what name you like most. Peter Paul, Matt Mark, Ian Tony, Darren, oh, yeah, Marina, uh, Carol, Julie, Helen, Susan. I'll pick Marina. Marina. I'll be Steve. What? 
That's it. Going that court. Steve! What? Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I have no idea if this actually is going to affect how our characters look and or play. It does affect how we look. That's about it, though. I don't think there's really any different stats between them. Okay. Here we go. Marina versus Steve. What? <laughs> Want to leave. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, well, then. <laughs> Yeah. I think I can okay. do that. No, I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Oh, hang on, I'm going with this one. Whoa. Okay, what? what? Double fault. Double fault. I didn't even do anything. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Uh, okay. Ow! I'm going to have to get used to how this game plays. Okay, ready? 15 all. You know, fault. I get the feeling fault. <laughs> I get this the feels... feeling you guys... I get the feeling you guys probably should have done a bit of practice first. Uh, well, I don't. I, I'm. I'm probably not going to play. I'm honestly probably not going to play this game again. Oops. Oh, that poor guy got hurt. Are you okay? I mean, all. it's funny because between this and there's also another tennis related game on here called Super Tennis, which I actually did have a little bit of nostalgia for, just a little bit because. Oh, well, my grandparents actually own the game. If you could believe that. Ooh, but, nice. um, oh crap! Ooh. I was out. It's a Damn. deuce. I was about to say with Breakpoint, I almost thought like, wow, even the game's reached its breaking point a with us. Deuce. Oh. Eh. The, it's sad when we have games where they actually remember the net was a thing. Yeah. Oh, see, we're, get, we're starting to get better. This all. Oh, oh, this is my again. victory dance. Do, 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 do. Change court. Da, 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 and da, da. now Steve's up next. I never. Oh, here we go. Ha. Woo. Damn, oh. I was out. I was over the line. I did not play much of tennis, even in school. Me neither. Oops. Crap. I did play a little bit when I was growing up. I was, I'm more of a badminton person. I played a little bit of badminton, but I've never touched tennis. Just, yeah, this is... Oh. Hi! Rude! <laughs> Chew. Oh, crap. I'm Oops. on, okay. No, oh, yeah, no, trust me. Trying to hit that thing, like, serving is kind of finicky. It's okay. not like Mario Tennis, where it's a little more instantaneous. Yeah, I was about to say, like, uh, so far, like, yeah, this ain't, no, like, you know, I'm kind of surprised, like, was the Virtual Boy game, like, the earliest Mario Tennis game we've ever gotten? Yes, it really was. Oh, oh geez. Oh, nice ah, wow. Smash! Honestly, that was the most, that was the most impressive play we've had all around. Okay, go. <laughs> it's like, ah, jeez, it's like, Oops. this audience is like, watch two numbnuts learn how to Deuce. play tennis for the first time. It's like a social experiment. How did I? Fault. Oh, because I didn't go across. That's another rule that they don't tell you: is that you have to like stand on one end and it has to go to the other end of the tennis Ooh. for it to be a real. Out. Oh, it was out. Oh, I have the advantage. Yeah, you have the advantage. advantage? Yeah, no, that is oh, yeah, the... that is actual tennis rules. You have to make sure the ball hits that one square, otherwise it won't count. But I yeah. guess that only counts towards <laughs> the serve. Oh, nice. The three judges across the way look on menacingly. And Steve was the winner. Because I don't know if we can play that. In oh, yeah, because it was just one set. Oh, it's your turn. Chirp, oh, it chirp. is. Shit. Well, chirp. I've honestly had enough. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I, I will admit that, that that played pretty solidly. It just is the depth perception. Like, tennis is always kind of a tricky game to get right. Even aces now, how have shown we move on to a game that people, I'm sure, will actually give a stick about? Panel oh? Pod. Because oh. Mainly because of the stick in the game. I always kept hearing about this. This is the one that, like, say, Pokemon Puzzle League was based on, right? Yep. As w and um, here in the States, we didn't get it as Panel de Pond, but we did get it as Tetris Attack, and that's partially the reason why that name, that game never exactly got a re-release anywhere else, because Tetris was a name that we all know and love, and, well, Nintendo just borrowed it for some reason. And it applied to a game that has absolutely nothing to do with Tetris. Did you? Oh, uh, but, and once uh, I'll probably ask you them once we like actually show off some of the gameplay, since it'll probably be a little more like familiar at that point. But uh, yeah, Panel de Pon featuring this flower princess. I will admit it is kind of a shame that we never got some sort of um, you know, compromise so that we could also have the version with Yoshi as well. But I mean, I'm willing to play play a version with the cute little fairies and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, and what's funny is that, like, I mentioned that, like, because of the stick and smash, <laughs> that little thing that she's holding ended up being an item in the Smash Brothers games, the lipstick. Look so at all these characters. For all these cute little girls here, we can also pick two of the, uh, deities that apparently are... I'm getting the 90s anime vibes from this. I think that was the complete intent. From what you see here, do you have a favorite you like, Seely? Uh... Eli uh, either, uh, Elias or Saren. I'll go Elias. And lip wasn't lip in Smash Brothers or something? Lips, lips, lipstick. 
Right, that's what I said. Like, Smash Brothers loves to reference the ever-living crap out of Lip. Which, I mean, if she's not part of... I'm just gonna just be blunt. They should just up and make her a freaking Smash character already. Okay, my yeah. mood is better now. I don't that's know good. why I took this to make my mood better, but... It's because it's so adorable and totally doesn't remind you of Sailor Moon. But I guess I should say, like, now that you're seeing this gameplay, does this look familiar at all to you? It doesn't look familiar, but it's cute. And I'm looking at the sprites there, and now I want to cross-stitch them! Aww. <laughs> that they do look- they, they, the sprite work is pretty fun in this, so... She kind of reminds me of, uh, uh El Elias? Yeah. Is that her name? She kind of reminds me of Nehru. Yeah, no, yeah, with that water, yeah, I, I do think that, that, I can see that. Is there a, um, is there a story involved in this game, uh, or is it just kind of your usual, like, oh, they're just on an there, adventure? Oh. There is a story in which, uh, Lip is trying to, uh, I want to say that Lip is trying to save the world from this e so great evil that plagues the land, and these other deities she has to face are kind of in the way. Hmm. Though I don't, I don't, do, I don't entire, I don't know the full extent of the uh, game's plot. I do remember the, I do remember the Tetris, the uh, Tetris attack very, where apparently Bowser, the adult Bowser, returns to wreak havoc on Yoshi's Island and has cast a spell on all of Yoshi's quote unquote friends. That be including the Likidu, the um, the chop, the uh, the grinders, the uh, Poochie, right? The Poochie, the Pooch. And yes, I need I to learn how to play this game. I will say this much: I do kind of feel bad for leaving Monica out of this because she really loves this game, and she, we actually did have a little, we actually did have a, uh, you know, puzzle match well, not that long ago where she utterly wrecked Aww. me. Really? Yeah, no, uh, she's, she's much better at this game than I am. <laughs> also, uh, for, for people that need the reference sake, we're talking about Nintendo. Yeah, you can find her, find her works, works, uh, works, and then some on DeviantArt and Twitter. I never did mm -hmm. tell her that I need that I got called for a commission for Daisy. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. Yeah, voice commission. Someone else already came back and is voicing Peach, so he's having me voice Daisy. And he believes my Daisy voice is better than my Peach voice. Huh. Well, I mean, I, th I think they're both perfectly fine. And honestly, that's one of the things that I do that I do appreciate out of Monka. Like, she adores our voice work. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, was a, I was a fan of her for years. <laughs> Also, I guess go back to the game real quick. Much like uh, Puyo Puyo beforehand, this game really wants you to make the most out of the combo game, which I think is a little easier to handle in this game than it is in Puyo Puyo. I think so, because you you definitely have a lot more control over the uh, over the pieces and stuff, hence why it's probably going to be pretty neck and neck for a little while, hopefully. It's like, if I can... Uh... Ooh. I guess my biggest, like, the thing that I have to get used to a lot is how... Um... Damn it. You don't- there is no swapping things vertically, you can only swap horizontally. Yeah, that right. does seem a little, uh, archaic. Well, no, that's- that's just- that's just always been- always been a staple of the game's design. And actually, to just talk about, like, puzzles and whatnot, like, I remember, like, uh, not remember, like, Damn earlier it. you mentioned- that. Like, earlier you mentioned that you kind of want them to bite the bullet and make Lip a playable fighter in Smash, and I'm not fully against it. I think the thing that I would say against that is that, like, if we are going to have, like, a puzzle representative in Smash, I feel like they probably, ironically enough, would sooner take from, like, a Puyo Puyo or Tetris than before they have Lip be playable. Mm, Puyo Puyo, I could probably agree there, but at the same time, though, I feel like it'd just be easier on them to... Oh, jeez, yeah, no, I'm done. I am so fucking done. Sorry. I will say one other detail is I thought it was a neat idea how, like, each character has their own, uh, like, combative, like, projectile they can use. For the sake of not making this video go on too long, I'll, I'll let Logan have that as a win. Sorry. <laughs> You'll again, let him have it. I again, I'm not, th th these are fun. Again, I love that with this online feature, you can play these games. I was telling you guys this the other day that I think more games, if they're going, not saying, you know, okay, let's wait until... Do the next intro to the next game. And now for the sole reason why Logan wanted us to do this video in the first place. Mario Super Picross! AKA the next game after I beat all the other Jupiter based Picross games, the next game I spend probably a lot, a lot of hours in. Like I'd... S3 and S4 and uh, the one one with the anime characters. Yeah, the, the other one with the anime characters. I feel broken apart. But again, like, yeah, this is, again, made by Jupiter, who are still making Picross games to this day, and still, I think, doing a really solid job with them. This was one of their big, this was one of their first big forays into it with the Mario cast. 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I think also, like this is also the one we showed off that has like a Mario mode and a hidden Wario mode. Yep. Now the cool thing about Mario Super Picross, which I believe was something that was only really accentuated with the um, with that trailer, you can actually play with as a friend. Yep. Aww. I get to watch us Oops. go mad in real time. You know, time. one thing that would probably make this a little easier is if we could actually, if it would be a little easier, like, could tell whose pick pick is whose. There's a green, yeah, there maybe. is a there is a green color over mine, at least at first, but I think you wanted seven. to... But it's not seven, it's some weird character, Japanese character, but I think it's, you wanted... Yeah, it's a Japanese character. But I think you want us to do level two for this real look at, James? You know what? Yeah, we could probably do that. I was gonna do do level one for the sake, just for the sake of getting something done. But yeah, we should probably use my um, other save file. Hey, you're talking. Hey, don't don't forget. I can I, I can I can I know me a good. I know me some Pacrossin left and right. Well, maybe. Honest, he does. I mean, well, yeah, no. In all fairness, though, you do you are much better at this crap crap than I. In fact, usually I usually just check the cheap way out when it comes to um, clearing these puzzles. And yes, yeah, fine. Though, if it wasn't really obvious, it was. You don't only have the Mario puzzles. You also have the Wario puzzles. <laughs> and they add a wah in front of Mario. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Mario. Yeah. But yeah, we'll do some of Mario's for now, and then we'll probably do a couple for Wario, because Wario's do have a, have a different gimmick to them by comparison. Well, I know, like, for some of these, you said, like, they start making some that are Mario-centric. Uh, no, I was saying, I, I was saying, like, if there was ever, like, a Mario Picross sequel, that's what they should totally do. Oh my gosh, yeah, uh, again, like, I really would like if they added, like... Again, it would be really cool if they added, like... Sorry, I'm like suddenly getting go, really into guys. the world. Hey, I want to ask, like, because you both probably know these better than I do. Are there any, are there any Picross games that have like actual like competitive multiplayer? Not that I'm aware of, no. Probably not. Uh, Seely, how about you talk about how you have you been trying out these nanogram puzzles? I was actually playing one as we were recording. It just now stopped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they are fun. They're addicting. <laughs> They're fantastic! Well, again, I, I I'll take your word But on I've that. never actually played a Picross game. Well, there are. They... The... Go ahead. Uh, you don't, don't forget the one that was Oops. adjacent to that one you knocked out a while ago. That's so cute, the little hands dusted off. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they had this and the Game Boy one I want to play because the Game Boy one is cool. Like, they oh, actually do set it up like it's uh, one two three four five six seven they do actually set it up like you're on like some grand like archaeology dig oh yeah there we and go done nice yeah <laughs> but yeah done to, a slightly better time because i we actually i actually had a friend or maybe i did worse considering all the mistakes i made no no you're fine but i was saying like actually looking at it, like this is right now this is my first real foray into like co-op across and it actually works out Better than I thought it would. It's a cool concept. Yeah, I'll say. Also, um, if it was, if you probably, you guys probably already know this by now, but uh, this game's honestly pretty long. Like, look how many freaking levels there are. What's special? What's special. Special is pretty much the big screen-wide sort of puzzles, and I mean, you know what? For the heck of it, why don't we show off at least one of them? Okay, just know I'm gonna be like in super focus mode. But I, uh, the other thing I was gonna say is right, but the multiplayer thing. I'll that's right. But the multiplayer one, I was saying that, not saying every game needs multiplayer but if they're gonna make multiplayer they really should have a a feature they really should have a feature where um hang on oh yeah what i'm talking about this is 25 all across <laughs> look at him go why am i going across here what, what can i what, what's the pencil oh that allows me to like mark it okay anyway yeah oops uh oh what am i doing yeah. Yeah, be careful, because as a reminder, you're oh, on a timer. Yeah, and if that timer goes down, it's a game over. But, uh, not saying every game needs multiplayer to be... Oh, you don't know, I, I see the highlight now, where mine's as red, it is as green. Yeah, one, two, three, four. a little easier to read, so yeah. But yeah, like, I'm not saying every game needs multiplayer to work, but if, they, if they're gonna make multiplayer, especially in this day and age, they really should try to make it more online and less couch co-op, just because of, like, distance and convenience right now. Especially right. nowadays, given you know what. Oh well, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shelton tells me we're not going to win this with this month, with this kind of time. I think we're yeah, doing fine still. Oh, the devil, damn! I just noticed how fast the timer went down. Oh yeah, no, the like, the more mistakes you make, the the, wor the worse the penalties can get. So one more, one one or two more are likely going to doom us. 
We're doing pretty fine so I far. I just didn't know that. I just didn't know that like the the penalties escalate. I just figured it was gonna be like always like two. Eh, uh, yes, Greg. Oh, jeez. <laughs> See. You didn't do that on purpose, now, did you, James? Yeah, did you? You, you got. You gotta be honest with us, James. We know it's Logan floored okay. you in the puzzle games. You, don't you know have what? To be... We're not gonna end this on a doubter. Let's at least do a couple, maybe one or two, a couple of uh, audio puzzles. So, what is his big gimmick? His major gimmick one. is that um, you Here. can practically do. Let's do there's... E. Okay, fine. I was also gonna do this because it's funny. Well, we can try. Oh, yeah, okay, we can, still, we can start with that one because it's funny. But yeah, well, but I, I want to actually solve one that you haven't done yet, live on stream so, for the world to okay, see. Oh yeah, no, we can definitely do that. But um, okay, with Mario's puzzles, get it first. Mm. Oh, oh, uh, Logan, be James beat you to it. That's his one victory for this video. I filled out more squares though. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and that's wow. to, to be fair though. No, trust me, that that, was, that was just done as a joke. A single dot, and Mario's like, bam, puzzle solved. The island. Oh. I deserve all the money. So where's my paycheck? Just yeah, I, I remember when I first saw that in our really old look at like that was so surreal to me to see a nonogram just be one damn dot. Anyway. Now, now, anyway, as far as Warrior's gimmick is concerned, it's like his puzzles you have absolutely no penalties, but that's the big that's the big twist. You have no penalties, so it's you have to pretty much you literally have to play strict uh, nonogram rules. You have to guess this shit. I mean, that's what I'm doing. So like that's how I'm able to see like yeah, this has to be yeah, one. That means the two must be here. Has to be a so yeah, like it's like these puzzles were made for him. They yeah. specifically invent. They specifically invented the art of nonograms just for Logan. I will say though, like once again, like one, two, one. Two, this is probably one of my favorite kinds of puzzles to solve. Like some people, you know, they have crosswords. Others have word searches or whatever. Like nonograms are absolutely one of my favorite puzzles to solve. Uh, however, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there are a couple of. Um, I did notice there are a couple quality of life things that were not introduced into the series yet, like how normally I could do this and it would not fill in that X, it would go right over it, but uh, that was something that later Procross Games added. Like just just in general, I, this is a series that I would not be mad if, um, if Nintendo announced in their next partner showcase that, hey, we're finally bringing back a, uh, a, new, uh, a new Mario Procross from these guys. Actually, I don't think that's right because it has to be a one there. Yeah, sure. yeah. What's funny is that, like, that would be really neat. That's still not right. gonna stop people from being all like, they'll make Mario up a cross but not F Zero? I'm not afraid to admit that I did use the hint system for pretty much majority of these. <laughs> That's fine. They gave me that option. Actually, I'm trying to, like, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, wait a minute, there's something I'm missing here. I, I also Again, love the idea that if you ship. erase it, it's a Wario hand, so I now imagine two Warriors going, Hey, hey, what are you doing? No, that ain't, no, 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 That's not me. That wasn't me. That's right, it's not my fault. I figure that they would have added that as part of the difficulty, and that, like, when you make a spot, it's just permanent, just to really hammer in the fact that, like, you can't make any mistakes. <laughs> that would be interesting if that was actually, like, a big, uh, like, penalty system they had in there. Two, three, four, five. So it can't be these guys, because it's a big four, so it must be these four. Whoops. That in there. That. That must be not that one. But yeah, uh, all in all, one, I am all in all. What we've been showing off with all these games, I like that they are giving these games over to onto the new onto the Switch service to allow people who have never had a chance to play these games before the option to do so. Yep. Let's see. Are we missing any? Uh, oh, there was that dot you passed a while ago, James. Yeah, go dot? up to oh, this, this one. one. Got no, it. No, up to oh, almost. Yeah, that, that right. has me. Yeah, right there. Bingo. What did we make? It looks like a bee. A bee? A duck! It's a, a bee! Or like a fly or a cicada or something. It's an ugly well, bee. Well, we're not gonna know the answer for that, because again, this game was only in Japan, so Moonspeak. But it does, it honestly does look like a little bumblebee. Kinda does, yeah, it does look like the, like, it looks like the Hudson Soft uh, logo. I still think it looks like a duck. Ah, well. <laughs> still, fun games. Fun games and all, and again, this is like one of several games you can play through the Nintendo, through the Super Nintendo Online app. Which also includes Super Mario All-Stars! Starting Woo! right now! Spoilers, this was all a ruse. No, it's not a ruse, but we've, we've already done those games. <laughs> kind of, yeah. But um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hope you'll enjoy our little look into the import stuff. And uh, 
again, we'll use the service whenever we have any other Super Nintendo games we want. We might see fancy, like, I don't know, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble, or Wild Guns, or, yeah, take your pick. Don't <laughs> like everybody. Hi. Please bring us an N64 service. Can you say Virtual Boy online?